Welcome back, people, to another edition of the Coach's Desk. Yeah, man, thanks for the support that you have been given uh, over the period of time. And we really appreciate you on reaching uh, over 5,000 subscribers. Our aim is to make it to the 10,000 subscribers. So, people, continue to share. Continue to tell a friend to tell a friend about the Coach's Desk. Thanks for the supporters of the weekend's Triple Treat program and also the new series uh from trackside that we have uh the live on a tuesday afternoon at 2 p.m big up to all the track fans big up to all the football fans big up to all the sports fans you know what i mean so let's jump right into what we want to talk about people actually the jff clears here on the, the blunder with the covid test for the english based players so let's hear what they really have to say on that matter this is a quick video of the people yeah man and um before we get into that matter as well i just want to big up to the people who continue to support from uh north america from south america from the caribbean and of course europe yeah man my europeans and also the africans who also have been supporting the channel big up yourself man and we'll continue to you know improve the channel to ensure that you get um good content yeah man big up yourself people yeah you are the ones who made this happen you know you are the ones who actually made the comments or made the comments that you know even sometimes when we feel discouraged <laughs> it put a smile on our face and you know um encourage us to go on so big up yourself people trust me well you know we have gotten good comments and bad comments but we we, we take every comment seriously and we uh peruse them in order to you know improve the coaches this product big up on yourself all right so jamaica football federation hierarchy people uh say that they they were not informed in other words by the japanese football association about the the nostril only pcr covid uh, 19 pre-flight test before arriving in the country so i mean that in itself is a is a communication issue between the jff and the jfa which is a japanese football association they should have sorted that out because of course they know the 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 the, the fourth wave that japan is, is is undergoing right now there should be clear communication um in terms of both federation we, they, they shouldn't have left anything for chance so if they say that a, 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 a COVID test is required, they should have been specific so that that specific information be passed on to the players, especially the ones coming from England. And that, that's a big issue, people. Um, that, that, that's where the, 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 the blunder took place. And I mean, it, 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 caused, it caused Jamaica a, 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 a game, some playing time for these players. It costs the coach um, time to see his players. You know what I mean? Uh, it, it, it's, it's very bad uh, communication there on, on part of, of the federations. Things should have been ironed out. No two ways about it. Now, because of this, both federations would have uh, mutually decided that, you know, the game has, has to be cancelled. Because the amount of players that um and the time to reach back uh, because from we are uh, we understand that the players had to go back to england do the test in order to come back you know what i mean and the time allotment wouldn't allow them to reach back in time for the game you know jet lag you know quarantine and all of that so i mean trust me it is a big blunder and of course the jff wanted to clear the air where that is concerned is this sufficing people is this a substantial um clear the air is it a a, a, a substantial information um a, 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 is, is it warranted you know what i mean because i mean <laughs> trust me they say they weren't told that's one side to look at it but the other question that we could ask or the public could ask why 
or could you ask what sort of tests should be done being that there are a lot of um, COVID tests being done and many persons are accepting the oral uh, test and the uh, nasal test which is a nostril PCR right so I mean it, it, it tells me that there, there, there was some com communication issue. You know what I mean? So basically, that would have caused uh, cost the game, playing time and all of this um, up and down thing. But I mean, let's let's see what will transpire. I, I trust that what, for every situation, uh, a lesson will be taken from it. It will be a teachable moment and the persons will, you know, uh, try to ensure that it, would uh things like this will not occur again so thanks again people for tuning into the show this is just a short one a, a little update on what is happening so jff clears here on blunder with uh the covid test you know what i mean so big up yourself people thanks again for tuning in i'm out <laughs>